greatest common factor or GCF using continuous division. Hello there students! Welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to find the common factors or GCF of 2 to 4 numbers using continuous division. Let's go! Melissa is working on her art project. She has three pieces of yarn. Red yarn measures 16 centimeters long. Yellow yarn measures 24 centimeters. And blue yarn is 40 centimeters. Melissa wants to cut them into strips of the same length. Now, what is the largest possible length of each strip? Here, the problem is asking for the largest possible length of each strip. This means that we need to find the greatest common factor or GCF of 16, 24, and 40. But how do we find the GCF? We can determine the greatest common factor using the continuous division method. Step 1. Write the numbers horizontally. The given lengths are 16 cm for red yarn, 24 cm for yellow yarn, and for the blue yarn, 40 cm. Next, let's find a prime number that will divide all the numbers if possible. Remember, a prime number is a whole number greater than 1 with only two factors, which are 1 and itself. Prime numbers include 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. Now for step 2, let us divide the numbers by a prime number and write the quotients below the dividends. Start by dividing by the smallest prime number, which is 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8, 24 divided by 2 is 12, while 40 divided by 2 is 20. Now for step 3, continue the process until none of the numbers has a common prime divisor. Since all the quotients are even numbers, we can still divide them by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 12 divided by 2 is 6, while 20 divided by 2 is 10. Again, we can divide these quotients by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, while 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now, the quotients can no longer be divided by 2 or any other prime numbers. Now, as you can see, the prime numbers on the left used as a divisors are called common prime factors. Now, to find the GCF or the greatest common factor, let us multiply the common prime factors. In this case, the common prime factors are 2, 2, and 2. Therefore, that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And 8 is our GCF. Therefore, the longest possible length of each strip is 8 centimeters. Now, to get their common factors, let us start with 1, which is the factor of all numbers. Next, let's include the common prime factor, which is 2. Then, let us multiply the common prime factors to each other to get the other factors. Let's start by 2 times 2, which is 4. Next is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So you can see here, the greatest common factor is 8. Great job! Let us try another one. Let's find the common factors in GCF of 12 and 48 using the continuous division method. Step 1, write the numbers 12 and 48 horizontally. Next, Let's divide the numbers by a prime number and write the quotients below the dividends. Let us start by dividing them by smallest prime number, which is 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6, 
while 48 divided by 2 is 24. Now let us continue the process until none of the numbers have a common prime divisor. Since all the quotients are even numbers, we can still divide them by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Now 3 and 12 are both divisible by the prime number 3. So let's divide them by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, while 12 divided by 3 is 4. At this point, the quotients can no longer be divided by another prime number. Now our common prime factors are 2, 2, and 3. And if we multiply them, we will get 12 as the greatest common factor. Now to list down the common factors, let us start by including 1 which is a factor of all numbers. Next, let's include the prime factors 2 and 3. Then, let's multiply the prime factors together to get the other factors. Let's start with 2 times 2 which is 4. Next is 2 times 3 which is 6. And lastly, 2 times 2 times 3, which is 12. Here, we can see that 12 is our greatest common factor. Wonderful! You made it this far, students! Now, here are the things that you learned today.